Why? Why? Why me? Why Nintendo? Why Miyamoto? Why Satan? Welcome to Mario 2 The Lost Levels. Oh my gosh. I... Uh, okay, first things first. We're gonna have to do the one-up trick, so... Get this. And then... Get this guy trapped here. And hopefully I can do this right, right because this usually takes me a few attempts. Ah. Okay. I hate doing this so much, it's so... Like, there we go, okay. Yeah, count in twos. Alright, that should be enough. Uh, if you do too much, then you'll just get a game over, but let's just check. Nipples. And then kill me. Hopefully this one... Yes, okay, broken gun. Oh, gun, crown gun. Okay, now we can actually play the game. So basically, I did that because... If you haven't played this game, or seen this game uh, before, which would be really surprising if you're watching this, um... Or like, if you're a Mario fan and you haven't heard of this game yet, then there's something clearly wrong because this one, this game is really infamous. Like, don't be fooled by the aesthetics. Like, it looks like a Mario game. It looks like uh, like cherry upbeat and all that. Like with the the way the game looks and stuff. Like it, it graphic graphically, it looks just like the original game with some e added textures and whatnot and it looks a, a little bit different but not too much and yeah it'll make you think like oh I'm going into another uh, Mario game like just like normal <sighs> you are so wrong like okay it's not so bad here but trust me it's gonna uh, you, it's gonna make you wanna tear your face off like this is easily my least favorite uh, I'm not counting Hotel Mario, because that's just... That's not even made by Nintendo. But this is the worst Mario game that's made by Nintendo. N.A. You, there's no other competition for this. Like, I can't think of any Mario game that's as, like, soul-crunchingly obnoxious as this one. Like, the, World 1, I can get for it usually fine, but it, it's, it's basically, like... World 8 of of the original Mario game, and it just keeps going and going like Are you serial bruh? Like seriously, do you how do you expect anyone to beat this like? All right, I'm not gonna say that this game is unbeatable because I have been in this game before and I'm not gonna say like oh It's something you can never beat in a million years, but it's so it has so much bullcrap design choices to it, and it there it requires you to pull off the stupidest like kind of stunts that like it's just like how do you expect anyone to know you can do this, or like, how do you expect anyone to time this right? And it, I'm hoping that I do this smooth as smoothly as possible because I really don't want to get a game over because like unlike the first game. If you get a game over, you do just restart the last uh, world you died at. However, you're going to start with only three lives, which is going to be a pain because some of the things that the game just like makes you do is just stupid. And like, 
only having three lives to beat a world is freaking torture, let me tell you, because, like, I know from experience, because I, I did the Seas Brain run, that's probably not going to be a, a playthrough for a little while, but I did that run uh, of the game. I got to world 7 and 8, I got, a game, got, I got a game over on both of those worlds, so I had to do both of them with three lives, and guess what, it took me like, what, three, a good three hours or something done to be able to beat both of them, like, three hours each or so, it's freaking insane dude, like, I don't understand what was going on through Miyamoto's head while making this crazy game. I I didn't even hit the fire. I didn't even hit the fire, dude. That was bullcrap. Yeah, I'm hoping that we can do this relatively safe, but I can't promise anything. Okay, there we go. Got to world two without a scratch. Well, we got hit, but we didn't die. But you, you never know. It could all go downhill. I. Uh, I, I don't even know, man. Like, whoever designed this game should just... Should just die. <laughs> like, okay, maybe not that drastic, but... Seriously, wh whoever, like, came up with the level design was probably on... Was probably on crack or something. Because, like, this is stupid. Alright, there we go. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I don't want to die in a place like this. That would, that would be really, pretty embarrassing. Uh, I, I don't think there are many places where you can do the one-up trick. So I'm going to hope that we don't get a game over and stuff. Like, mm. Let's just hope for the best. I'm trying to remember some of this level design. So... Mm. Uh, it doesn't help that just like in the original Mario Bros, you can't go back. All right. Oh, I screwed up. I don't really want to risk it because I feel like if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get another life, I'm just gonna get a game over. Because like, if you get too many lives, like I'm not sure how much it's up to, but yeah, if you get too many lives. The game will just automatically game over you because it kind of resets the lives at, at a certain point. I have no idea why that is, but it's something you should keep in mind. So you can't just do the one up trick and then just hope to get a thousand lives or anything, which kind of sucks, but hey, I don't know. Ugh, man. Okay. Yeah, say like say what you will about games like Mario Sunshine and all that. Like those games, that game is tough, but at least the like the main like story like levels and stuff, they're not too annoying. Like when you, it's only annoying when you get to like the like the pre like post game stuff. And even then, I th I don't think it's anywhere near as bad as this, because I actually enjoy. Sunshine quite a lot. I can't say the same for Lost Levels. Like, yeah, the core gameplay is still the same, but... When I'm constantly trying to tear my hair out at this, it's not exactly what I'd call brilliant game design. Okay. Here's an instance of one of the things they like to shoot out at you, I guess. Hidden blocks. You basically have to just jump around and until, until you find a hidden block somewhere, and then you can move on. Like, eh. I just don't like the idea of hidden blocks. Like, okay, I'm not against the idea of them being in the, a Mario game completely, but having to find them to move on through the through the main level, nah, nah. That I don't think that's how it should be done. Like, have it so that they're, they're there for a one-up a secret pipe or something like that basically to go to go make you go to a secret area or whatnot and just stuff like that you don't make it so it's like 
mandatory to find to get through the level. Like, that's just dumb. I was kind of scared we actually got over the level, the life count, because, like, <laughs> I, I really would hate for that to happen, but, hey, we seem to be good, doing good, so. Uh! I'm not going to lose my streak. Alright. We're not the blue streak that speeds by, but, hey, uh, a fat plumber with overalls? That's going to have to do for now. I'm hoping we can stick with the crown gun. I'm really hoping we can stick with that for a while. Oh yeah, okay. Also, another thing that's kind of annoying in this game is that it doesn't exactly load the same each time. Like, some of the- f some enemies or obstacles won't always load. Like, there was a fire bar earlier on, but it wasn't, like, showing any fire. And when we, if we die, we're probably gonna, probably gonna see a fire bar. And it's just in, inconsistent crap like that just annoys me. We ain't doing too bad here, though. Ugh. Let's just hope we can keep this winning streak. Ah, okay. Oh, hammer bros. I just just run away. I don't even care, dude. Get away from you. Alright. I'm assuming there's a mushroom. Okay. No! Dang it! Flip off! You son of a cranky doodle ducky man. I, I don't ask. <laughs> okay. I am not even gonna try to get in there. Alright. No! Okay. Oh, okay, get in there. Get in there, boy! Ah! What? The hell? Oh my gosh! Whoa! 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 Okay. Okay. What even... What even happened? I'll take it. I'll take it. I... Bleah! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, please don't... Is it a water level? Fresh nipple-tastic blooper tang. I... I... I'm gonna be gibberishing this place up. I'm I'm gonna just probably gonna be saying a lot of nonsensical crap, which is what I do when I rage, for some reason. There's not a lot I can say like legit commentary wise because a lot of this stuff is things we've seen in the original Mario game, and this is freaking fur. Go 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 go. Okay. Just go, 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 don't even think. Don't blink, don't think. Just go, 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 go! Oh my gosh! Suck my ding dong, you stupid bloopers! That was great. Oh great. No, 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 I'm going up here. It's not over. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, okay. Okay, we made it. Woo! <sighs> we can do this. I'm, I'm, I have faith we, that we can do this, man. Like, come on. We've got this. Just... Uh, yeah! Okay. I don't want to be too reckless, because it just throws everything at you. Like, that's the thing of the first game, like, you can, you can have momentum, you can keep that speed up. Kind of like in Sonic, but... But with this... It's so hard to keep your momentum going, because the level design is just stupid. Like, you can't, you can't go fast in this. 
and I know Mario's not exactly for that, but it was just so it was just something that was fun to do in the original game where if you learnt the level design enough, you could uh, go by state Mario, you gotta go fast. Stop slowing down, boy. But what is it? You can't just like what am I think? Okay, now, okay, now I'm being a dirt. But now, what is it? Um, in this game, you can't just like do speed run strats or whatever. The, like, what you can to a dis to an extent, but you have to learn these stages like the back of your hand. And while that can be the case for many games. This game is just... The level design... I can't stress it enough, but the level design is just retarded. Like, there's hard, and then there's just, like, unfair hard. And that's what this is. Alright, I need to remember what this pathway is. Alright, there's a mushroom here, so... Oh, okay. Wait. I think it's down here... Go through here. It might be... I think it's the... Alright, I'm gonna avoid getting that mushroom, because that's just gonna screw me up. That thing looks like a... That looks like GLaDOS in a... In a snow... In like a snowball or something. Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> I wonder why it does that weird glitchy stuff on the lives. This is annoying. Like, where where the hell was that fire bubble? Fire, 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 fire! Where was that fire bubble before? That's what I mean by being inconsistent. All right. I'm. I think you have to do. I think that's what you have to do. I could be wrong, but I hope it. I hope I'm not. No, no, no. I think we got it right. Alright, get that. Uh, get that mushroom. Because now we'll need it. Alright, I'm assuming we go up here. Yeah, now I remember. Alright. We have these mushrooms. Well, not mushrooms. These coin blocks. You can go through here. And we have to go up here. To the top path! Okay. And that should be up. And we should be coming close to Bowser! Okay. Oh my gosh. Go! Oh my gosh! Oh, 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 oh wow. Woo! Okay, World 4. Bring it. Bring it, bro. I got what it takes, I think. Ugh.